All right. Last time on RPG, you guys made it to the capital city of uh, Mereldia, which is the sort of continent kingdom you're on. And you're now... And uh, you sort of just spent a lot of the day kind of taking in the sights and just do... Uh, uh, ooh, I forgot Zell's current name. It is Lawrence. Just had and to look at Amade the... And, Amade and Amadeus both uh, took a visit to the sort of uh, to the Mages College and to the Mages College in the capital to find that the sort of void uh, research lab was a bit like ransacked and burglarized by presumably just like a, a group of hooligans that call themselves the Arcana class. Hooligans. Meanwhile, uh, Pikachu and Thorbin uh, took a little visit to the took a little visit to a local dive bar in the city called the Thirsty Goblin. Uh, made some friends, got into a bar fight. Uh, somehow managed to somehow managed to not piss off the uh, very surly bartender. And just sort of, and uh, eventually were reunited with. Uh, just Lawrence, as Amadeus wanted to, as Amadeus was like sort of, uh, sort of separated from the party just to pursue some more research and try and get in contact with some other people he knew through like with through the Mages College connections. However, not soon afterward, however, not long afterwards, you guys, uh, through some commotion, met up with just sort of this dashing void magic rogue that called himself card sharp and sort of uh with and sort of with his help fought your way through a, a pretty tough encounter with some guards and then met all back up at the thirsty goblin where card sharp kind of explained how he's here in this kingdom kind of trying to determine if the whether or not the king is sort of a fair and just king which uh, immediately caught the attention of some arcana clasts that uh, Brown and Pikachu had met earlier, who, being very impressed with uh, Card Sharp's, uh, let's say, uh, qualifications, uh, invited you guys all to sort. Invited you guys all to visit their sort of uh, base of operation and. Uh, hopefully meet their. Uh, hopefully meet their sort of de facto leader down there. And uh, we're gonna start now with, and we're gonna start now with you guys sort of coming out of the bar with your uh, two friends. Hold on. And by qualifications, that means Card Sharp committed regicide on an unfair king. The unfair part doesn't matter. Though. It does matter. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's why he did it. As long as it was a king, like you're more than qualified. <laughs> so, you guys, uh, you guys step out of the bar. The uh, your two, the two arcana classes here are just sort of like, ah, all right, awesome. So, uh, did anybody get directions? Because I did not. I don't uh, like we... talking to the bartender in there. Uh, we did last time. I forget who. <laughs> Someone did. It was just down wait. the street, wasn't it? Wait, 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 wait. Where, what, what's going on now? The nearest, the nearest, uh, sewer. The nearest right. sewer? Is there not one, like, right out front here? Um, well, look around the street for some sewers. The bartender said down the street. Yeah, we yeah we did get directions. I just can't. Oh, we did. Exact. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. Our okay. will immediately begin walking in the direction he was directed. All right. How do you? How do we actually get in the sewers? Well, uh, we're gonna find that out in a second. As uh, Card Sharp heads down, sort of the direction towards the sewers, and everyone else kind of follows in tow. Until I'm just gonna look around. How busy is this street? It's uh, it's busy-ish, but the thing is, you're not in a uh, particularly wealthy 
side of town. Uh, it's not necessarily the area where I think people will bat too much of an eye at you trying to go into the sewers. A lot of the people milling about don't look... A, 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 a lot of the people milling about, like judging regulars. by the way they're dressed and the way and the sort of faces they have on, are kind of a bit more concerned with their selves than the people around them. Karchup will take a couple of take uh, like a couple like glances around him. He's going to snap his finger where a small void flame will appear. And is there like holes in the sewer grate, like for rain to go down? Uh, no, this one is just sort of like a solid steel, some manner of iron man. There isn't any crack or anything that he can fit the, like, he just needs a small opening. Uh, I mean, yeah, there is a very small opening for, like, a specialized tool to help someone pry He's going to put his finger up against it, and he's going to summon Dagonet to literally push the sewer grate upwards. All right, I am gonna, I am gonna have you. Would that be brawn void magic to have Dagonet do like a physical task? I want to say it is. Sure. So what was it, brawn? What was it, uh, brawn void? You said. Yeah, brawn void to have Dagonet to like That's summon six. to to command Dagonet to do. Sort of like a combination of you doing the spell, Dagonet doing the thing. Okay, three successes. Not bad. Yeah. So, literally, all that anyone else is going to see is like the is like the the demoness kind of hand, like just like show up and like push the grade out. I'm gonna, I, well, honestly, for, for three successes, I'm going to say what they see is a bit more grand. Well, of you just sort of like putting your finger into kind of the hole in the manhole grate, and then Dagonet just sort of like, almost as it, almost like V, almost as if it was like a magician's trick, just popping up from underneath the manhole cut from underneath the manhole cover, like a and just sort of like sending it flying, uh, sort of a uh, a fair distance away. Damn, card sharp. I would just hit it, but uh, you do you. <laughs> I hope that's that nice doesn't hit, hit anybody. Card Sharp gives a very smug uh, grin and does a front flip into the sewer. <laughs> <laughs> one of the uh, one of the, one of the Arcana class, the shorter of the two, is just like, man, that's fucking cool, right? Am I the one who thinks that's fucking cool? No, that was anyway, pretty, that was pretty, pretty sick. Cool. But after, but as a bit of a kind of a funny thing after after he like is so smug about himself you hear a small splash and he goes oh like it's disgusting down there <laughs> well, I, I suppose we we should follow suit hmm it's probably a ladder or something People just yeah like there's down. there's like a there's some there's like a ladder just heading down I think uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna pull out a I'll pull out an arrow with boots on it. <laughs> I want to step in that. Impale <laughs> <laughs> your feet. I'm, get... no, I'm, I'm going to say on. let's 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 call that uh, ranged survival to use an arrow to apply some to apply some uh, waterproof boots. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think it's not one because I'm healthy. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, wow. No. I oh, no. Oh, no. Pretty good flip. But... I just wanted to put on some boots. You, uh. I just like to shoot them into the sewer first. <laughs> <laughs> Brown, yeah, this isn't just uh, Thorbid, This isn't just any boots applying arrow. This is a this is a specialty, very uh, very not tested arrow that transmogrifies whatever footwear you're wearing into just like <laughs> very high quality boots. 
like Doc Martens. <laughs> However, as you shoot it at your feet, the 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 spell just kind of like it sort of forms around. It starts crafting the boots around your feet, and then it suddenly just, I guess, shatters is the best way to describe it. And uh, you are left totally barefoot. <laughs> Fuck. Or going into the sewers. Have fun with your uh, infections. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna jump in the sewer. My bare feet. All right. I am. I am gonna say. I am gonna say. Well, uh, uh, until you until you hit a drier part in the sewer, you're gonna have. Uh, Actually, gonna, wait. Before you're gonna get a penalty to your agility while you're walking around barefoot in the sewer. Before, but yeah. Before I jump in the sewer, you're right. I shouldn't be barefoot, so I'm gonna put on a pair of socks. And then jump down. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. Isn't that even worse? <laughs> it's so much I don't, worse. <laughs> I don't use an arrow, though. I don't use an arrow, though. To put so on. much worse. <laughs> All right. Unless anyone has any fancy <laughs> sewer tricks, I'm going to say the rest of you climb down as normal. Please. That was, that was my plan. <laughs> <laughs> you know, after that failure up there, I'm starting to have a new idea for an arrow, guys. What about a raw sewage arrow? Uh, I'd, I'd rather a perfume arrow down here. Hmm. That sounds disgusting. That sounds a little bit difficult. I don't think I could do that. Perfume arrow. <laughs> kind of ideas you guys come don't up with. Don't waste your time. Crazy. Why not invest in something like a knockout gas arrow? What's knockout gas? <laughs> I'm not the inventor. Like cyanide? You no, what? That will knock them out. Yeah, that could work. Cyanide Some... gas. No. Yeah, in an arrow. In an arrow. Knockout, not it. kill gas. Uh, well, what? Potato. Yeah, that's knocking them out. Yeah, yeah. I think you're kind of getting into semantics here. Either way, I, I guess. Think, uh, uh, people would. Some, uh, some hmm? gentlemen to lead us. Uh, the. The. Uh... <laughs> the two just sort of, the two Arcata class just sort of milling about hear you say that, Lawrence, there's like Oh, you're talking about us. Right, right, right. Uh uh It's kinda the uh, the taller one just sort starts like checking his robe all over and he's just like Ah uh, Hey Matic, I totally left my thing at home. Do you have yours? Like, oh, yeah, yeah, I got that. Can and he, you uh, hurry this up? No, 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 it only take, it'll only take a, it'll only take a sec. And he, uh, he produces kind of like a, sort of like, just this sort of like, parchment. And he starts like, attempting to sort of like, trace a rune on it with his finger, on this blank parchment. And it takes him quite a few tries. He's just kind of like, ah, fucking... No, not... Okay, okay. And then he eventually gets it. And, uh... <laughs> he, uh he, he gets it, and... The parchment kind of, like, goes up in, like, uh... Sort of, like, starts to go up in flames. And as it does... Just this sort of, like, white flash kind of cost... Just sort of crosses over everybody... And as you kind of, like, blink your eyes and kind of acclimate it to it, you realize that suddenly the before totally blank walls of the sewer are now sort of have these, like, illuminated arrows on them that are kind of just sort of, like, leading you in a path. Huh. Pretty cool, huh? The, uh... Yeah, these sewers are... These sewers are really uh, hard to navigate, so uh, we uh, so the boss developed this cool trick to help us uh, find our way. So you need to use a new parchment each time. That seems rather wasteful. I mean, I don't know. It's just paper. Yeah, it's not like we're gonna run out of paper. Yeah, sure, it's fine. Card Sharp is going to examine the runes as he's walking along them. Do they emanate the same kind of, like, a purple <laughs> energy that he knows about? Uh, give me... 
Are you are you looking specifically for void magic? Yeah. Uh oh, you know what? We could do if you want, we could we could do a uh, dual skill flip for you as well. I know sure. you're talking about How about uh, Arcana Void? Okay, to, he knows uh, nothing in Arcana. But he is healthy. And wait, but he has full void, so you know. Yeah. Uh yeah, that's that. Ooh, one success. Uh, I think one success is going to be enough to determine that this is actually uh, quite the opposite of Void Magic. This is a Spirit Magic spell in Origin. Hmm. Yeah. The card character I sort of like looks at it. He's kind of just sort of examining it, but he's still walking alongside. Oh yeah, come on guys, you gotta go this way. There's uh the uh the, the shorter the shorter arcana class, which you now know is named Matic, just sort of uh very confidently starts strides through the sewage. Is he going the right way? He is following the arrows, so Okay. I thought it'd be funny if it was like no, they're actually going uh <laughs> it's like if it was like uh it's this way. Their arrows are backwards because it's cooler that way. <laughs> Card Sharp uh, does have is uh, prepping his dagger in his sleeve in case something goes wrong. All right, he's just hiding it there. So, uh, as you guys are as you guys are walking, the uh, the taller one is just kind of like, ah. <sighs> so, uh, so hey, what originally brought you guys to the city anyway? Traveling with some friends. I've already said I'm here to determine whether the king is corrupt or not. Funny. Ah, <laughs> oh, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, me and me and Maddox here just sort of grew up here, but uh, I don't know. Uh, I mean, no, but that would be cool. <laughs> you know anybody who grew up in these sewers? Uh, probably not. It's sort of uh -oh. as, as he as he says as he says that though. You hear this sort of like this very loud kind of like sloshing sound, followed by like pretty heavy footsteps. And uh, you guys are just sort of stopped by your guides as uh, as a taller Arcana class goes. Ooh, that thing definitely sounded like something that grew up in the sewers. <laughs> <laughs> Is it coming from in front of us or behind us? It's uh, so wow. wh where where you're standing, the uh, the path kind of like branches into sort of like a T intersection, and you can hear from sort of the the right side, which is not the way the arrows lead, but a way where if you have to uh, if you have to cross the intersection. It could potentially see you. And you just sort of hear these very low kind of rumbling, like... <clears throat> Card Sharp is going to disappear into the shadows using stealth without telling anyone. I'm going to crouch right. down and pull out a, an arrow with... Uh, what do I roll, Ding, by the way? Uh, if, you're just, if you're just being sneaky, then that's agility sneaking. I'm just going to pull out an arrow with a cartoon bomb. On I'm going to use a hero point. Ooh, the crit. Ooh, crit. But yeah, he's yeah. literally just going to not tell anyone that he's just disappearing. But it's yeah, going to look... But if it was if it was like a TV show, it would definitely look really cool. Yeah, you like... You soundlessly fade into the... You soundlessly fade into the sort of darkness of the... Uh, of the... I mean, obviously, very not well illuminated uh, sewer system. And uh, and Thorben, what did you say you were doing? I'm just I'm pulling. Sorry. So about a cartoon bomb. Yeah, I'm get I'm just pulling out an arrow. It's got like a like a circle bomb on it, like one of those black bombs, just a circle with a fuse <laughs> on the end. Okay, <laughs> I'm just gonna I'm gonna hold it. I'm getting ready. I'm like, oh, all right. I don't think you. I don't this. think you need to flip for just readying the arrow. Mm -hmm. 
like, yeah. So, uh, the uh, Maddox just is just kind of like, yeah. There's like, there's like a lot of monsters down here, sorta, kinda. Uh, that's uh, that's reassuring. What kind of monsters? Oh, you know, like giant gators, giant rats. <laughs> yeah, I saw a big ass bug once. Oh hell yeah, dude! <laughs> that I already said it in the. Oh sorry, I already said that it in one the text. definitely. I'm sorry. That one definitely sounds like a gator though, and those uh. Yeah, I don't want to fight that. <laughs> what is an alligator's weakness? Oh. That's my question. And yeah, we gotta think like sewer hunters here. Uh, Men of the sewer. Under these rats are the gators. Did anyone. Does anyone notice that Cartrop literally just went missing? <laughs> Too many rats so Hey, has anybody seen that other guy? About the gates of weaknesses. <laughs> it's already dark, like, I can barely see anybody else. <laughs> I mean. I feel like the boss normally just blows things up. We could try that. You think so, uh, you think that cave would collapse if I blew it up? Is that a thing? How old are these sewers? I don't know, man. I didn't build them. Okay, light the fuse. I'm gonna aim the arrow <laughs> at the at where the gator is. So do you, are you gonna try and get a vantage point on it, or are you just gonna like aim towards the noise, or like around the corner of this intersection? I'm gonna try to like I'm gonna try to aim at the entrance of the of where it's coming from. Like so, the entrance. You said it was like a T intersection. I'm assuming yeah, it's, it's, it's not sort of like a it's sort of like a fork that's just like it's a dead end, but it goes like to left and to right. Uh, I'll, I'll try yeah. and get a vantage point, Poro. I'll yeah, like, see if I can't uh, spot it. Um, I think to stealthily get a vantage point, give me agility investigation. We're going the opposite way of the gator, though, right? Oh, there you go. Five success. Oh. Nice. Fuck. <laughs> Strong crit. I think I see him. <laughs> What's he doing? As the fuse goes down. Wait. So what did you what did you flip? Uh, one crit. One crit. Okay. Wow. So that's. So yeah, you are you're able to very like sort of like, without any without any notice, you're just able to kind of like very quietly sneak up and just sort of poke your head out, and you see just this like, just this tremendous like brown scaled alligator just sort of like very just sort of like resting sort of like outside of the water just sort of like sitting there just sort of like looking very sort of alert but very much just sort of like chilling it uh it doesn't it, it uh you know it doesn't notice you so it's not particularly it doesn't seem particularly harmful until until like uh, the small, there's like the smallest ripple in the water nearby it, and it just flicks its tail and just sort of like flicks some sort of weird mutated fish out of the water and right into its mouth. This thing is uh, very powerful and very quick, from what you can tell. But you also know exactly where it is, and for five successes, can definitely relay that to Thorben very effectively. Okay, so. This is the opposite way of the way we need to go, right? It's the opposite. It's the opposite way, but he's sort of looking down the tunnel. No, yeah, yeah, I know what you're saying. I'm just making sure that, like, okay. So how does it well, look? Then, yeah. How does the, how does the entrance look? Yeah. What do you mean the entrance? Like, okay, so is it just a? I guess it's just a tunnel, right? How's this? It's the just like a, a Y intersection. How's the ceiling look in that direction? Uh, it looks like old wet bricks. Old wet bricks. I'm gonna shoot a bomb at it. I'm gonna try to block them off. 
and you're stuck with. Alright, it is that'll be ranged explosives to uh cause a controlled cave in with a cartoon bomb arrow. <laughs> Please no jokers, please no jokers. Oh, nice. Ooh, wow. So I think that Two. three successes? Yeah. Okay, yeah, one one charm, then that would make it three successes. Yep. Uh three successes, I'm gonna say that is definitely enough to So you're just gonna like Once uh once you've kind of gotten like the gist of the situation from Lawrence, you just sort of quickly kind of wink. <laughs> you quickly sort of like shuffle like right behind him and ready the arrow and just sort of shoot it right at the ceiling the uh the the gator immediately as it sees you is like rears up as if to attack but the uh falling bricks are quite a bit faster than it and it kind of gets like it, it sort of gets like partially trapped <laughs> under like under like rubble and bricks as you uh Sort of block <laughs> off that area of the of the sewers. Wait, so I blocked it off? Yes. Let's get the nice. fuck out of here. Nice shot. Thank you. Thank you. The uh, the two arcade clubs come up for come up and woo! That was awesome, man. Yeah, I just filled an old vase with gunpowder. Hell yeah. I fucking hate old vases. <laughs> well, they're useful, dude. You know, if you if like uh, you got a fuse and gunpowder and a bow, he can, he can, he can sell you one if you're in the market. Yeah, you guys in the market for um. Here, listen. I got this quiver, right? <laughs> Makes all these uh? cool arrows. It's called a. Uh... I'm Thorbin Strongly, by the way. I put my hand out. Yeah, man. We. You, we met. <laughs> 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 so uh, you guys, uh, you guys looking to invest? You guys uh, got a lot of money in this arcane class business? Ah, oh, nah, man. I don't have oh. anything. Oh, I got well, like, I got like a couple. He he pulls out like a couple copper pieces and a sort of cartoon lint ball. <laughs> Paper yeah, we normally just sort of steal shit with magic. <laughs> cool. Cool. <laughs> but hey, I mean, that's pretty cool. Hey, where'd yeah, your friend go? Who? Oh, uh... Is somebody missing? Pikachu? I'm in. Oh. I think we're towards the uh, I'm gonna say, I mean, you guys are gonna like Hopefully sort of the like, rubble turn. hit him. You guys are gonna turn and see Card Sharp is like already like a good bit of the way down the other tunnel. <laughs> yeah, he just kind of made a very stealthy. Uh, he sort of used his stealth to just kind of walk ahead. Before uh, any business of explosions happened, <laughs> I just started following along. <laughs> like he's he's in like if he's like down a hallway, he's leaning against a wall like a good ways ahead, just shuffling another deck of cards. You you definitely do not want to drop those. They they will be ruined. How thick is the sewage in here? It, in, not incredibly thick, but like it's sewage. <laughs> hey Dingle, would it yeah. be too much to ask if if Card Sharp has like a seemingly limitless supply of like card decks that don't really do anything other than being a card deck? Like they're not special or anything. I mean, Pikachu has infinite. Ask. I mean, Pikachu has infinite beam, so I don't see why not. <laughs> Karcher was just stolen from many, many, many taverns and casinos over his time. Not even the chips, just the cards. Listen, think about it, think about it. 
we get a pack of cards, right? We pour some Jim Beam on it. Okay, right? I'm listening. We impale it with an arrow. Okay. 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 We get Lawrence here oh, to, con to convince somebody, you know, that they've, uh, you know, you just tell them it's their child. We light it on fire, dude. There you go. <laughs> I can do that. I can do that. We win. No, that's a team combo. Patrick, there's a very annoyed look and flick <laughs> one of the cards at uh, at Thorbin's face. I want to catch that's it. That's a yes. All right. Uh, I, get, you, I want you guys to both give me agility athletics. Let's see what my... Both for the flip and the catch. This is the catch right here. <laughs> yeah, it's Ooh. the catch. It's the catch, dude. Uh, card shop, you sort of like you you flick a card very you you give him a very simple like flick of a playing card towards him, which Thorbin just kind of like open palm, just kind very very <laughs> sort of like not very graceful at all, just sort of open palm, just kind of like catches and crushes with his hand. Can I steal it before Ooh. he? Can I steal it back before he crushes it? No. Uh, <laughs> Ooh, um, I did not. It. I was just trying to catch it. I mean, I not before not... he. I mean, not before he crushes it. I did not mean to do that. I like hand him back the card. I'm so sorry. <laughs> can I, I steal it while he thinks he's handing it back? But when he opens his hands, <laughs> oh my god, you guys! Oh my god. <laughs> sure, agility speaking. Both these characters are just trying to out like. What's the, like the best word here? You two are. You two are it's both like trying to be like the com a... You two are both trying to be the comedic relief character in very different ways. Uh, Ooh. Joke, success in a joke. Oh well. It was gonna happen. I mean, I didn't run into any jokers so far. It you... happens eventually. You attempt. You attempt to pull the card out of Thorben's hand, and you just tear it in half. Ooh, Thorben's, gri Thorben's grip on it was surprisingly tight. <laughs> <laughs> um, I hope those aren't like special cards or something. They're not. And uh, Card Sharp just drops them all into the sewer. Oh, okay. <laughs> Use those. You can he has a limitless them. supply of cards, guys. Listen, we should go to the moon then. We build a, a tower made out of cards. You guys don't know he has an infinite amount of cards. Oh, he, does he know he has an infinite amount of cards? He does. Card, card Strap would know he does. It's, Did he tell but us? he's not telling anybody. Not that it matters. They're not like... They're, they're in useless items. Hey, where do you keep all those cards anyways, Card Sharp? A rogue never steals and tells. You stole all those cards? I like that. Card trip doesn't answer. He just keeps walking. <laughs> I'm gonna say you guys keep following the arrows for a while. Until well, while uh this banter's going on. <laughs> yeah, no, like while this banter's going on, you're you're following the arrows. And uh eventually eventually you sort of uh, eventually you make it just to kind of like this very weird kind of like this sort of like little alcove in the wall that seems to have like a that seems to have like it, it there's a door there it, there seems to be like an alcove that based on like the faint shimmering is hidden behind a is hidden behind kind of the illusion of a wall that is uh that you guys can see through due to the sort of enchantment you use to find the place and uh the two Arcana class sort of stride up to it and just like very confidently knock on the door. And, and a set of eyes just kind of, and like without like without anything coming from the other. All you hear from the other side is someone very gruffly going. Yeah, what do you want? I, uh, we want in. OK, what's the password? Oh, um, uh. It's obviously 
he's Maddox is inexplicably turning to you guys <laughs> as if to, as if thinking you know the password. Card um, goes, is the password password? What? Is what do you the think password? we are, idiots? Oh, oh I know yes. it, I know it. Fuck the king. No, that... Listen, Maddox, that's you out there, right? Uh, yeah. You fucking moron. Rem could you remember the password for once? And he just sort of opens the... And he uh, opens the door, and there's just like a very... There's a very gruff-looking uh, Arcana class just standing there, just being like... And who the hell are you guys? Oh, <laughs> these guys! Oh, dude! These guys are so cool! This one, uh, he's got a ton of arrows, and this one's got a ton of, like, cards, and he killed a king. And I mean, look at these two! They're awesome! <laughs> <laughs> I say, uh, I say, pleased to meet you. And I pull out, I hold out an arrow that has a hand on them. Are you knocking it or just holding it? I'm, hol I'm just holding it in my hand. It's an arrow with a hand on the end of it. I'm gonna try to shake his hand. I'm being, a... I'm being polite. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say he, I'm gonna say he does take the hand and like shake <laughs> it, giving you like a very weird look. <laughs> and uh, Karchar so what? Are you guys out... like, so what? Are oh, you guys up. like recruits or something? Uh, no, we came here at the behest of uh, these two to, uh, I don't know, hear out your leader. I don't really care. Here's my card. And it's like a business card. He's whole, He's giving it like a business card, ending the life. Sent you something <laughs> funny. I mean, don't send that to me. Say what it's to say it. Oh, I thought you would have them say. I thought you'd have say about it. No, <laughs> he's holding it like a business card, but it's literally a Joker card from a deck of cards. He doesn't have business cards. Uh, is that like yeah? Uh, is that like from that movie? <laughs> that is actually that is actually totally a scene in the Dark Knight. <laughs> I actually did not. I was not referencing that, but I guess. No, I asked that in character. You, there's no <laughs> movies in this world. <laughs> there, there aren't movies in this world. It's fucking fantasy, man. I mean, Card Sharp, you're kind of freaking me out right now. <laughs> there might, there might be the... movies, in Kanto. Are we in oh, the Pokemon yeah, world? Dude. Listen. Oh yeah. You guys, Pikachu, sir. Oh, you guys are making my head hurt. Can you just get in here? <laughs> <laughs> With pleasure. I like to imagine you saying that both as DM and in character. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't think you have to imagine, my friend. <laughs> So, uh, so you guys sort of just sort of, so you guys enter and you see, uh, I mean, I'll be frank. It's, it's still sewer, <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, it's, it's much more decorated and sort of, uh, there's a lot of like, sort of like just paint sort of splattered on the wall roughly in like, just sort of like symbols that I'm sure the artist quote unquote thought looked really cool. You can see the uh, the S just on the wall. <laughs> there's definitely there's a lot of the like there's a lot of like these circled anarchy symbols. There's definitely a ton of cool S's. <laughs> any, any more uh, any more gators we have to worry about? Oh no way, man! Not in here. Any tunnel snakes are around? Uh, I hope not. I haven't seen a snake in the sewer. Do they live here? Uh, Did yeah, snake... dude. I thought tunnel snakes ruled the sewer. No way, man! The Arcana class rule this sewer! And, yeah, uh, we're the Arcana class! The t no, we the, rule! Uh, the, uh... <laughs> the two Arcana class high-five. Anyway, uh, I mean, we should probably go, 
I mean, we could just go up and talk to the, the, the you, they, the two sort of do a huddle, but are not very quiet in their whispering, where they're like, Yo, we can just, is, is, can we just take people to the boss? Like, is that like cool? Yeah, I don't. I We're really only engaging in parlay with them, aren't we? Uh, I mean, I don't, I, I don't know if, I don't know, man. I don't think the boss is like looking to get married or nothing. That's not what parlay means. Is it? It's simply friendly talk. Oh, that might be cool. Oh, that might be good. Card Sharp gives a look of exasperation to the rest of the group. Okay, so, uh, you guys sort of, you guys, you guys keep walking for a while. A bunch of... At the farther you get, the more you realize that this place is like pretty densely packed with people. Just like a lot of, just like a lot of people of just like different sort of like, of really just like pretty much every race and gender that you could imagine to see in like a city. Just sort of milling about and sort of a, uh, just sort of casting spells indiscriminately and just sort of uh, doing like sick fist bump routines and just generally yelling. How big is the space? Is it like quite open or is it quite packed? It it looks to be it, it's it's a little bit claustrophobic. It looks like sort of this was just a decommissioned part of the sewer tunnels that they kind of like blasted to be a little bit more wide open. <laughs> certain certain areas it's like very clear that like where the where the it's very clear where like there's just sort of piles of debris that this was like not really initially meant to be even this wide. Carter so was gonna lean to the rest of the group and sort of whisper, kind of unimpressed. Uh, I'm, I'm getting more of a fraternity house vibe than a cult of unhinged mages that want anarchy throughout the kingdom. My, is that just me? I like it. Ugh. They got really good music in here. <laughs> It certainly got. Uh, I will. Charmed. I will say. I, I, I will say there are there are plenty of uh, <laughs> there are plenty of mages sort of around that are just like using instruments and using uh, thaumaturgy to just make the music a lot louder. Hell yeah! I'm turning up. It's a lot of like traditional like what it's a lot of like what you'd expect to be. Uh, it's it's just a lot. It's a lot of like. The the fantasy equivalent of like metal music, <laughs> just very loud, Whatever very aggressive is. loot playing. Are we, almost, <laughs> are we close to meeting your boss? I'm starting to get a headache. Yeah, man. Uh, I think he should. I mean, he might. I mean, don't you dare say he might not be here, because you just dragged us down to the sewers. Yo, boss, are you here? He sort of calls out. <laughs> and uh, there's no response for a while. But then pretty soon you hear sort of like the sound of something like falling from higher up. And then just sort of like a... Just a... a fairly large a, a fairly like large human man just sort of like he just like lands in front of you guys from apparently jumping from pretty high up in whatever sort of uh open space above you was carved out and as soon as he lands like several like what what is essentially like pyrotechnics flash flash behind him whoa impressive and uh, you're now sort of staring face to face with like a very tall, very uh, muscular looking uh, uh, gentleman who's just sort of like has who has a robe similar to the others, but just sort of has it sort of draped over him, like uh, just like shirtless underneath, but just has the robe on and like some pants. Is he a fucking boncho? <laughs> sort of. He's just uh, he just looks at you guys. He's like. Oh, Maddox, Zephyrs, 
What are you guys doing? Yeah, he, uh, he sort of like puts the two of them in sort of like a a friendly headlock. Oh, before no. looking up and noticing you guys just being like, "Well, what do we have here?" Wait, before he looks up, as he's headlocking the two, Karchip just goes, "Oh no, they shiv right so." <laughs> He's calling them all idiots. No, oh, you cut out of it. So yeah, but he like he like he looks up and kind of like releases them and just like So what do we have here? I don't recognize you guys. At the behest of your associates, we have decided to parlay with you. Oh come on man. Don't talk all that. Oh, come on, man. Don't be so formal down here. Look where you are. You're in the coolest spot in the whole kingdom. Moonblitz look... I mean, uh, Cartrip just looks around, like, just unamused. Is there any booze down here? I would not Oh, you betcha, man. That's... I mean, somewhere. I don't know. I just got in. What about gold and, like, uh... I'm gonna, like... Monsters Quest Glory. What do you guys do down here? What's going on? What's, oh, you guys just hang out here? It's like a bar? Ah. Uh, listen, man. I know it looks like a I know it looks like a bit of a disorganized operation around here, but we are the premier uh, fighting force to end the tyranny of this of this capital's king. What's so Have you actually committed regicide before? <laughs> he means you know what, murder. man. Hey, man. This guy's a all real thing. All things in time, brother. Because I've already killed <laughs> I, the king. I point over. Yeah, I point over at card and say, "Yeah, this guy's a real regicidal maniac." Hell yeah, bro. He, uh, he, he holds out for a fist bump. Card Sharp half-heartedly fist bumps. <laughs> Alright, we'll talking. work- Alright, we'll work on that. <laughs> Do you have any definitive proof that this king is corrupt or taking advantage of his people? Because I don't kill without reason. Hey, any king takes advantage of his people, man. Like, I, like, I mean... Just look around. Everyone's so stuck up. You think they want to be like that? No way. They're like that because they feel like they have to be. They got to stay in line all the time. That's not what we're about, man. That's why we're the Arcana class. <laughs> and as, he, as, as he says this, like just a cacophony of hoots and hollers comes from the... <laughs> Comes from as, the people around. As the hoots and hollers, it, the the party is clo the party is close enough, they can hear like an audible like slap against like Card Sharp's head as he just like like just shakes his head with his like hand over his eyes. As the uh, as the sort of hooting and hollering starts to subside, you hear sort of a uh, you hear a much more calmer like a uh, like female voice come from behind him. Just go. Okay, ah, uh, Raz, there you are. Can't you just come in through the front door like everybody else? And, uh, you see sort of like... Just sort of like a, uh, sort of like a, a dark elf woman. Pretty short for an elf. And with, uh, just sort of like dyed purple hair and an arcana clasped robe. Just kind of like hmm. show up and sort of register your guys' presence and just sort of be like, Oh, um, I didn't realize we had visitors. Card Sharp's demeanor changes slightly, and he does a polite bow, introducing himself as, Oh, hello. It is a pleasure to meet your acquaintance. I am the dashing Harlequin rogue known as Card Sharp. Yeah, I'm sure. It does make you more dashing to announce it. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm Aurelia. I'm sort of the... Second in command? I don't know. We don't really. I don't. I don't know. We don't. I know we don't like to use that word, but I'm. I'm basically the 
person who makes sure people can eat around here. Probably for the best. Uh, if you eat? don't mind me asking, what is the point of this organization? Are you sure that... Like, is there, is there a struggle going on in this kingdom between classes? Or you said make sure that people eat. Uh, let's go. I'm going to ask the same question I asked your large friend here. Uh, do you have any definitive proof that the king is taking advantage of these of the people of this kingdom? I mean, I suppose that depends on what you mean. I mean, a lot of us around here just sort of think that any form of government is inherently oppressive to its people. That's the stance you're allowed to have, but at the same time, it's uh. Uh, without government, or without rules in place, uh, things can get out of hand very quickly. And, I, and I'm not one that always follows the rules, but... I don't want people getting hurt that don't have to get hurt. I'm a professional. Uh, well... Y you, and, uh, you and me definitely agree on that, which is uh, why you should probably keep a lot of those sentiments down. Yeah, what is you guys' plan for after you murder the king? Are you planning on taking over? Ah! Plans, pl plans, schmans. We just go with the flow, man. Listen, yeah. the more we listen, the more we expand our reach, the more people will see the way of the Arcana class. And that's what we're all about, man. A revolution. So are you guys here to join the revolution? We were only uh, here by your associate's request to sort of talk. I never made any concrete plans to join. Well, we're talking now. So what do you want to talk about? Uh, king murder mostly. Oh. Only if it's justified, I would say. Uh, he's he's I'm really big on this, like, justification thing. Listen, Lawrence, I'm speaking for myself and no one else. Please. Listen, I mean, even joining with this small group is a risk. I'm used to traveling alone. There's less noise when you're by yourself. A less noise is less fun, I say. But hey, man. I mean, isn't isn't knowing that you get isn't knowing that you're getting the man out of a fine city like this justification enough? Well, that depends. It's a... hmm? I don't know. I don't know about you, man. Uh, it sounds good to me, but he's the one we gotta convince here. Wait, wait, what were we doing? My last... The last time I helped overthrow a government, it was by myself, and I only killed one man. And that was the king. I do only what is necessary. I mean, you know, this kind of sounds like an, an ideal, ideal, you know, that you're trying to spread around. You know, does it have to be a, a, some sort of violent takeover? You know, could it... You know, is the king really, uh, is he hurting people so bad we kind of got to overthrow him right, right now? That's what or... I'm asking. I have yeah, not can, gotten can any solid evidence. we spread the ideas around? Do we really got to kill the king? Do you have any king? examples? I'm not from this city. I agree with my bow-wielding friend over here. Not that, you know, not that I wouldn't kill the king. I, I kind of look at my party members. You know, if you guys <laughs> want to. But, uh. You know, maybe there's another way. Just wondering, you know, I'm not trying to impose... Even if he has none of the picture, there's more, uh... Spoils, per se. Listen, man. All I know is... Take it from someone who's seen the royalty in this city. I don't want nothing to do with them. And I don't but think just... anyone... And I think I don't, th I don't think anyone else should either. That's what why we're they... here. With their shopping malls. Mm. But what have they done?! Fancy watches. It's not about what they've done. It's about what they do every day, man. <sighs> and what do they do every day? 
Ah, they impose their laws, they put people behind bars for no reason other than their own! What's the fun in that? Listen, man. You can get it or you can not get it. You're starting to sound mighty like the man to me, dude. Excuse me. Yeah, you he, he sort of he sort of uh puts up sort of like a bigger stance. He's like, "Yeah, you heard me." I kind of I'm sorry. Hold on, hold on. I'm going to no one else fucking talk right now. No other party member out in character. <laughs> Card Sharp is going to straighten out his back completely and summon Dagonet to be and hopefully it's taller than the uh large dude. Like the like him slightly hovering behind him. I'm sorry. I'm starting to sound like this ruthless king. Oh, oh, you don't want to square up with me, pretty boy. He uh, he starts he he starts sort of like a uh, he starts sort of like stretching out. <laughs> Yeah. And, uh, the, uh, Aurelia sort of steps in and she's just like, okay, okay, okay. Listen, you, we don't need to fight here, right? I think, uh, I think what my, uh, my buddy of mine is trying to say is, uh, we'd be glad to help, but, <laughs> uh, I, th I think he reserves the right to, uh, back out should it not suit his interests. I, I'm, I'm sure we can we can figure out if it's all moral later. I mean, if we're <laughs> counting how successful each of our businesses are, I've killed a king already with no one else's help. Dagonet has not disappeared from behind uh, Card Sharp, by the way. He, he's not like in a fighting stance, but. Uh, yeah, I did. Dagonet is lingering behind him with like the purple like smoke, kind of like pulsating the air around him, just for a little extra intimidation. I look at this buff arcane class and I say, yeah, you know, I did. We did meet this guy pretty recently, but I know, I know you guys are having you know sort of a rough spot right here. But he was beating the shit out of some city guards when we found him. So I mean, obviously he's got similar sentiments. You know, you guys are having just a, a small miscommunication here. No need to get violent. He's just, he just sort of, uh, the, the sort of Arcana class boss just like, looks sort of like, he sort of, he sort of looks at you and looks at Dagonet with a pretty like unimpressed look on his face and he's just like, ah, yeah, I get it, man. But hey, you know what? Grudges ain't my style. You want to join, you're welcome to. Here's the matter of initiation, though. We're a band of brothers and sisters down here. You up for that? He says uh, directly to you. Uh, a card sharp. Out of character, I want to say something cool. I'm just not entirely sure what to say. Well, let's hope it ends up being cool then. Lawrence is going to do a, a, a quick aside to Card Sharp saying, Hey, uh, you know, I don't think they have any more info for us directly. We're probably going to have to figure that out on our own. But it doesn't hurt to make some friends. How about this? We'll come to you if you find anything else about the king. And you'll come to us if you find anything else. We could mutually fit from this agreement, but I am not 100% ready to join this uh, class, so to speak. Whatever, man. It's your loss. All right, then. You lot hey. do seem very cool. What's the initiation ritual like? Oh, that's a secret, my man. 
Oh. Oh, but I, I want to know. Can you just initiate me? Do you need these guys too? I mean, do I, I get a cool? We... Do I get a cool robe? Oh, everyone gets a cool robe, my do man. I have, do I have to show up for every meeting. <laughs> meetings? I would show up for my own meetings. Hell yeah, I'm in. It sounds like it sounds like I'm not really taking on any responsibility right now. <laughs> That's what the Arcana class are all about, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> woo! Sign me up. The the woo brings many more woos from the corners of the uh, <laughs> of the hideout. <laughs> Car sharp begins to leave. Are we, uh, is there is there a split happening? Uh. Oh. Hmm. Oh, come on, like guys, have, it'll be fun. Looks like we have two people very into it and one very not into it. Yeah, these guys are cool. Yeah, they have, like, beer and shit and music. Yeah, they, they basically, you know, if we get in with them, we can just hang out here whenever we want. If you want to join a formless anarchy group, then you're free to do whatever you want. Well, you can't really join it. You know, I mean, I guess you can. Because the initiation. Well, it's formless, you know? It's like, you're not really enjoying anything. Then what's the point? We're wasting our time if we're not... If we're what's not the joined? point, dude? What if their initiation ritual is really cool and it makes us, like, super strong or something? Does it... I ask him if it makes us... Does it make us super strong? <laughs> hey! I mean, look around. Do you see anyone not super strong here? Plenty. I'm gonna look around. <laughs> you see, uh, I mean, you see a lot of just sort of vagabond mages. Do any of them look particularly strong? Not really. Yeah, I'm if still in. If you want in. to get stronger, I'm there's no in. easy way. There's no easy way out of getting stronger, Thorpe, and that's only by your own persistence and your own determination. Yeah, but, what, but what if we get robes? That he doesn't does seem pretty persistent in joining these arcana class. Yeah, what if this Just... makes me stronger? Can, to prove a point, can Card Sharp steal a robe without someone noticing and just hand it to Thorbin? That's what? all he really wants is a robe. Literally from steal where? it off. From where? No, I want, if I get a really good roll, I want to literally steal it off someone without them noticing. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, you're going to need a really good roll. Of what? Uh, of, well, probably uh, the agility sneaking. Yeah. And I'm healthy. We'll see where this goes. I'm going to use a hero point. And I'm going to use a drive. Is four good enough, Dingle? Uh, do you think four is good enough? Can it? I think it is. Because you said two is like the standard, and four is pretty good. Four is pretty good. Four is stealing. good, but you're stealing uh, an article of clothing off someone who's, who's currently stood wearing there. it. <laughs> yeah. 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 another drive then? Um, I'm not going to oh, lawyer yeah. your role. Maybe you hear, did you hear a point already? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, oh. so it's still four. Come on, that's pretty good, Dingle. You can use the... <laughs> all of your drive. I don't want to use all of my drive. Come on, Dingle. Four is pretty good. I think it's your decision now where you end at with the cards. Locking in. Four, four is very good. But I... Uh, four, four is very good, but I am going to say... It's not good enough to steal something off of someone. Steal a robe off of someone's body without them noticing. Okay, is there like just one hanging up like around or something or hanging on a chair or something? No, you already flipped. I'm not getting, I'm not writing you out of this. <laughs> Alright, then hold on. I'm gonna use this. Ah, oh, damn it. Oh, well. 
Yeah, so, uh, isn't. you basically just sort of, like, very, like, acrobatic. good, though. Like, come on, you gotta throw me no, a little bit of No, it's a very acrobatic, it's a, it's a very acrobatic, uh, and very cool maneuver. But you also do just sort of, like, rip the, at the end of it, you do just sort of rip the robe <laughs> off of a dude. <laughs> Here's your robe, Thorben. Now let's leave. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking out of character. I was thinking like even if you did succeed and you lifted off somebody he didn't notice, everybody else in the room would see you <laughs> just rip the robe off of this dude. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna grab it. I'm like, sweet. Can I keep this? The uh, <laughs> the uh, the 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 Arcana class boss is gonna. Sort of just like, is he's just sort of gonna sort of grab the robe as you're handing it off, uh, card sharp, and suddenly his arm is just gonna like ignite in flame and just sort of like burn the robe up. Oh, now Ooh. we're talking. Whoa, whoa! It, oh, that, my robe. Is, is, is that a is that a rule you were enforcing? Oh, hey. that's right! I thought you didn't oh, enforce oh, rules! Oh, and it seems you have a very you. strict uniform policy, don't you? <laughs> he kind of, he's, he's sort of just like... No rules, huh? Oh, but what's that? A rule is we have to... What was that? Take some sort of initiation ritual to join? He Isn't that slowly also a rule, fellas? Backwards. Isn't that also a rule, fellas? Card Sharp is being very dramatic on a table, like sort of like in a very theatric way, like leading the people. <laughs> He's, oh, and you Card, have to, oh, Diggle. And you have to meet down here in the sewers. Isn't that also a rule? And he's just sort of like Card Sharp, jeez, man. Card the, Sharp uh, is being very, very facetiously theatric at this point. The You got so, him, dude. You got him, chill. The rest of the, uh, the the rest of this guy's uh, sort of now his robe is going to ignite as the whole sort of top part of his body just sort of uh, is just like goes up in magical flame. Ooh. <laughs> and uh, card sharp, you have got six damage coming your way. <laughs> can I at least do two of it? You can. <laughs> As just like a flaming haymaker, just like socks you right in the face. Wait, is that unconscious? We don't oh, have well, unconscious, do we? we? Can. Oh, yeah, we don't we have can. unconscious. Oh, yeah, my bad. Ooh, uh, play with fire, I guess. You know what? I got an idea. Let's initiate y'all right now. This is my favorite kind How of. How about I initiate my? Can can I get like a? Because I prepared a dagger in Card Sharp's uh, sleeve. Can I get like a a first roll going here, or is someone faster than me? Uh, you guys are definitely in combat now. Um, who? What is your initiative? Yeah, Chris, uh, my initiative is uh four. Is that right? Initi yeah. Okay. Presence plus agility, so I have four. Pikachu sighs and puts down a, a tankard of grog that he found lying around. <laughs> he gets it. Uh, I think you are the highest initiative. Can Card Sharp, well, he's kind of like rubbing like where he was punched on his face. He just starts laughing. And he goes, I have an even better idea. How about I initiate my blade with your throat? And he's going to jump up while the dagger slips out of his sleeve and into his hand. And do a cross, like a, a sort of like diagonal slash in the air against this big brute. Right. It's going to be agility melee minus two. Minus two? Yeah. Why minus two? Uh, oh, right. Because, oh, I'm not because you're essentially fighting a boss. Hold on. Um, let me just... Uh, so, agility, melee, so that's four. Minus two, so that's two. I'm not healthy. You are, in fact, 
weekend, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. I have one. I'm going to use a hero point. Okay. Two successes. The jump is still really cool, though. Yeah, you sort of, you jump up from the ground and do, like, just sort of a cross slash on him. He, I mean, your knife definitely, like, collides pretty, like, gets just sort of, like, center mass right on him. But it just kind of, like, it, but he just kind of, like, he just kind of, like, stands there with his hands at his hips, just kind of, like... <laughs> uh, did you kill the king? Did you should kill the king with that one, buddy boy. Oh, and also no. uh, card but sharp. But I'll show you if you're that interested. Card, card sharp. As you sort of like get close enough to uh, getting close enough hit to him to do a melee attack, just sort of like it's so incredibly hot out close up to him that the flames actually sort of like strike you for one damage. Are you kidding me? Cartrip's gonna cough a bit be like, No, but I'll show you if you're truly that interested. I think we need to be Ooh. sure him before. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm God. a little bit interested in you putting your money where your mouth is, King Killer. Don't worry, by the end of it, I'm also gonna have your money. Alright, so uh, who's next in initiative? Wait, so oh, out of character, I'm who's the who's the three. healer of this class? Does Thorbin have healing arrows or something? I'm gonna... Yeah. Dude! Dude! Spoilers, dude. I was gonna shoot you in the ass with a healing arrow. Dude. Oh, because I was... Cause, okay. Oh, you spoiled it. I gotta think of something else. <laughs> Could you heal me, please? <laughs> dude, no. Not now. Not now please, I'm at one that. health, man. Come on. <laughs> You're the give only one with healing. Give me a second, dude. Just give me a second. I gotta think of something now. Okay, I thought of something. Hey, whose turn is it? Yours. Oh, yeah, it's my turn. <laughs> Yours. Oh, okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull out an arrow. It's got a small flask with red liquid on it. I'm gonna shoot it at Card Sharp. It's just gonna shatter on him. It's gonna break. All right. Uh, give me range. Healing liquid. Give me ranged biology. Biology for a potion arrow. For a potion arrow. Fuck yeah. I mean, biology is basically one. also the alchemy skill. Yeah. Hey. So I Card Sharp is two. gonna heal for two. That's all I can do, right? So. Yeah. So now it's uh, Pikachu and or Lawrence. Uh, you got it. I've got an idea. Okay. Cool. All right. Um. So, uh, Lawrence is just gonna kind of carefully uh, strut up, and uh, he's, he's gonna try. He's gonna try a hail mary. Like that. Okay. So, my buddy here. He's um. He's a uh, he's a bit um, exhilarated after uh, after finding that uh, crocodile gator thing, um, and I, th I think uh, I think we got off on the wrong foot here. You see, he's uh, he's trying to prove his strength to join. The Arcana class here. What? Uh, so, um, uh, no, I fuck. I don't know. This isn't even think necessarily of a, something I'd have you burn hell. I'd, I'd make you uh, burn hell Mary for. I, I was trying to think of something better, and then I don't know. Dude, just li just lie to all the Arcana class and tell them that the. The dude they're working for is actually the king. <laughs> Perfect. That that's much that's, better. Sorry. I like it. 
uh, charm lying, right? Dingle? What? Yeah, charm lying. Yeah. So you Why doing does that, this song? Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, my God. Is that A? Is that the second Hail you know, Mary crit? All right. That's the second crit, yeah. Yeah, and yeah, Jesus. That, yeah. That is eight. Jesus H. Christ! <laughs> eight. <laughs> you see how he's enforcing these rules? <laughs> hey, wait a minute. This guy's got a point. Do any of you guys actually know what the king looks like? Uh, I'm new. I don't know. Hey, maybe he is. <laughs> As this talk is going on, Card Trip grabs like a small like glass of like uh, alcohol that's probably lying on one of the tables and just takes a very smug sip of it. <laughs> I'm gonna say. Uh... Well, he's got like a black eye because <laughs> he just got haymakered. It's fucked up, dude. It's fucked up. <laughs> I feel bad. Oh. Holy shit! Seriously? Yeah. The uh, no. the mages around launch a mostly ineffectual blast of different types of magic. <laughs> Mo most of which, very interestingly, sort of as they collide with the fire, as they collide with the the fire engulfing his body, seem to almost like ignite the ex ignite like regardless of what element they are, and just sort of harmlessly become part of the fire around him. Certainly don't want to get too close. The only thing that actually hit him was a bubble beam. <laughs> <laughs> that was still really good, though. Are they convinced, or is it just for that one? They're convinced for a while. Yeah, I, well, think, that's eight. I think that's eight. I think that's eight rounds. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think, Do you I think have any evidence of, against the contrary, Mister Leader? Oh. You sure do love to talk, don't you? Oh. Come on! I bet you shut your mouth for one second and come actually hit me for once. However, it is Pikachu's turn. <laughs> I was waiting for it! <laughs> Pikachu is taken as his chance to strike. Um, I'm gonna... So it's just his upper body covered in fire, right? Yes. Okay. I'm gonna go for uh, an iron tail on his knees then. All right. I, I, I will say, I, I appreciate you getting clever with it. That's not going to prevent the, the recoil damage. Okay. Um, I forget. Do I have a bonus on that? Uh, do I the Iron Tail gives cards plus one. I think it gives... It gives. It definitely gives plus it's one it's melee. Weapon, right? Technically. Yeah, it gives plus one melee. I'm not sure if we added anything else to it. I don't... I'm not, I can't quite tell right. if we did. I don't think we did. Jesus Christ, bro. Ooh. Fucking Zell. First flip of the night. Uh, we can anti this yeah, if you want. That, dude. We, we haven't used it yet. Want to anti this? Wait, you am could. I the anti-joker? It's really not a very uh, cool it's a joker, but... Uh, three. yeah, I'll anti this. I mean, it is a boss fight. Yeah, so, I'll anti this. True. And we're, we're pretty late. I mean, so. yeah. Like yeah, and we don't have a lot of jokers left, yeah. Alright. So, uh, you're gonna... You strike him. You, you strike him sort of in the knee. And he just sort of, like, he doesn't, like, react too much to it, but he does sort of, like, he does sort of, like, put down and sort of, like, uh, and sort of, like, grab his, like, now bleeding knee, and it's just kind of, like, he sort of, like, he sort of, like, looks at the blood in his hand a little bit, and he's, like, Ugh. Man. What do you know? What do you know, Card Sharp? The little one's a lot better at this than you. Fuck. I'm trying to put the cards away. Who's being a jackass? <laughs> that's that that uh that, that said Pikachu, you are still the 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 heat emanating off of him is like is even if you're not directly in contact with the fire, being so close to him is just like causing you to choke just by breathing in. So you are gonna take one damage.
Come on, come on, you guys! What's up? You got me. You've thrown everything at me? You got my own men fighting me? I barely even feel it! I thought we were fighting for real! Is it my turn? It's actually gonna be his turn. Oh, fuck. I thought he went already. Is he really slow or really fast? Well, I mean, he's very whole... fast. If it's Turn any order. constellation, yeah. the whole fire thing is really cool. I've seen better. Hey. <laughs> I don't think you're Says quite the in guy with. Position. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, Lawrence, you've got you've got three dam you've got three damage coming your way, as he kind of like rushes towards you for like a shoulder tackle. <laughs> Ooh. It's uh I think it that is dodgeable of course. Yeah. He's gonna he's just sort of like Ugh. Good little trick you pulled on my fellas there, man. Shame's not gonna be much use. Uh, not from around here, it might not be a trick. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now it will be uh, Card Sharp's turn. Card Sharp is going to lean back on the table and be like, "Oh, but the best part about it all is I know your is is I know what to do now." Dagonet, would you please take care of him for me? And Dagonet is going to lunge forward at the leader with like a using like his kind of clawish kind of hands covered in void magic. All right. Uh, it's, uh, Void... Oh, let's say that's Void Melee. Uh, still minus two. I'm sorry, I did, I for, I, I just, I'm just realizing I forgot to put that on Pikachu's flip. I, I'm going to remember that in the future. Okay. So is Dagonet, like, uh, its own being, or is it just like an no, extension he, um, of you? It's, uh, it's an ex I'm, I'm, it's I'm like treating... It's like Persona, that, where it's an extension of him. I, I'm treating Dagonet as, like... I'm, I'm treating Dagonet as sort of like a weapon. They actually had something similar in Pretend Friends where someone had like a little helper and basically the way they got around it was just the, the helper doesn't have a health bar so you can't like redirect, you can't like try and redirect the tax towards it and it will flip off and it flips off of your statistics for, for whatever it's trying to do. For a Void Magic Summon, it's pretty, it's pretty easy to figure it out because pretty much everything it does is commanding it. So it's going to be void and something. Okay. Yeah. Also, again, I was just treating it like as a persona where it is kind of just an extension of like the user's thoughts. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm going to use What's a persona? hero point. Bra <laughs> God damn it. Oh. <laughs> Why are you laughing at me? <laughs> nice hero point. <laughs> dude, because you got us into this mess, dude. Oh, wasn't I supposed to? Yeah, so. Because hero points are two. I only put one card, I think. I can't remember. Oh, well. what, what was the roll for again? What? It was for a melee attack with uh, Dag. Oh, right, right, right. All right. Uh, please go easy on me, Dingle. <laughs> Continues to draw cards. <laughs> How many cards are you flipping? He seems he seems kind of. Uh, uh, I mean enough for I mean enough for his attack. <laughs> You'll get a Joker eventually, right? Eventually. Did fuck sakes. we are doing so poorly this session. God damn it. <laughs> so, please be gentle with me. Angle. I'll be gentle with you, but not necessarily so gentle with Dagonet. <laughs> As uh, so Dagonet's gonna rush forward with his claws, and uh, and the boss is gonna just sort of, just sort of grab Dagonet by the arm and use his other arm to kind of like just sort of stiff arm him back. And we're then gonna, and he's then going to, just sort of like, he's he's sort of like just sort of, like, throws Dagonet, like, behind his back. 
And Dagonet just sort of, like, collides with, like, some tables and stuff back there. So, uh, he's... And I'm gonna say, he's gonna be... Based on what he flipped, he's gonna be out of commission for one turn. Ooh. I'm shaking now. You're right, Card Sharp. How dare you touch my associates. <laughs> he, uh, he... He sort of turns his head to you, Thorb, and he's like, What do you got, man? I say... Here. He kind of like, he kind of like puts his arms out and he's like, Here, you seem pretty cool, so you get one on me. I look him in the eyes and I say, You look thirsty. Want a drink? And I'm going to pull out an arrow that's got a, a pint glass on the end of it. And I'm going to, I'm going to at first aim it towards Pikachu and say, Fill me up. No problem. I just transfer the uh, the contents of the uh, tankard I was holding into that. Okay, I'm gonna take my uh, I'm gonna take my beam arrow. I'm gonna shoot the flaming man with it. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, what'll that be? I think that's ranged biology again. Biology. Oh, and no, my, minus two. Blade so Brown, wrong, wrong card again. Jesus. Was that Zedge's card? Yes. Yeah, he was a card. Yours is on the end. That was, I actually did, didn't need to draw that one because uh, it's minus two. Well, you didn't flip it, so it's fine. Oh, shit. <laughs> that was beer, not beam. You have hero point. I'm dry. Oh, I do have a hero point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know the potato. Yeah, let me hero point. And dry. Do a new three. New three. We're redoing it. Oh. You can keep You know what? I still got three drive. You know, let's do one more new three. Third time's the charm. Three times in a row. Oh. <laughs> Ace is a charm. Better than literally no. nothing. I actually have but five. Wait, wait, wait. I actually have five drive, huh? Yeah, no. I thought I only had four. Okay, let's. I'm putting it to zero because we're drawing another one. Fuck! Jesus. <laughs> okay, I'm done now. I'm done now. Sorry. I'm gonna say yeah, but... the 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 sort of like the flames emanating off of him sort of ignite and evaporate the liquid inside the glass far before it reaches him. So instead, you just kind of hit him with a, a glass a glass like pint glass arrow. <laughs> He just kind of, he just kind of, he sort of, he puts his arms back down. And he's like, "All right, I guess." <laughs> I'll do, I'll do better next round. I'm sorry for disappointing you that time, dude. All right, whatever your name is. Uh, yeah. So Lawrence went before yeah. Pikachu, so that's going to be the turn order for this fight. Okay. Uh. -huh. So, are we, uh, are we committed to fighting this thing? I think he's committed to fighting us, yeah. to be honest. Yeah. Um. Okay, um. Is there any, like, water or something around? Uh, there's beer. There's a lot of beer. There's, a. Uh... If, you, if you're willing to make the, the trip for it, there's sewer water outside. <laughs> I got like That's a deer. True. I got like a deer park on the end of an arrow. Um, I, 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 I do like the um, the idea that uh, Thorbin had. We start chucking beers at him. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I guess I think that's just brawn melee to just grab beers off of the table and start throwing them at him. All right. Uh, Minus I'm... two. No. Jeez. Don't let if if, uh, if if interference makes it less than one, just flip one. I will see a point. Oh. 
try. Three, four. Oh my fucking shit, dude. Oh my <laughs> believe me, believe me, I know exactly how, like, literally exactly how you feel. Why are we doing so poorly in this fight? Because we keep throwing beer at him. It only makes him stronger. <laughs> you, 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 you head over to, you head over to a table, and you just start, start grabbing beers and just start tossing <laughs> them at him. And, uh. Not a very good shot. Most, m most miss, one just, one does sort of hit him in the head, but it yeah. doesn't see, but it, uh, it doesn't seem to do much other than just, like, have him sort of scratch his head and just be like, oh, man, Aurelia actually bought those glasses, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but buying glasses... You're giving money to the economy, which is, you know, in turn another rule. Why did you steal the glasses? Yeah, man, money is just like an agreed upon system, man. The the mages are gonna make their attack. Ooh, oh. ooh, ooh, ooh! What is with these stupid mages? <laughs> That's exactly what's with them. Uh, I'm gonna say the Joker here is that we're gonna we're gonna split the damage. So half of the mages are gonna continue to attack, but the other are gonna sort of direct some like shoddy spells at uh <laughs> are gonna direct some shoddy spells at you, Lawrence. Just uh just saying. Oh man, our glasses! <laughs> 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 We're gonna have to go steal more pint glasses from the thirsty goblin now, dude. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, dodgeable, of course, uh, uh, Lawrence. Yeah. Alrighty. Uh, it's okay to do it. So. All right, Pikachu. It's now gonna be your turn. Uh, Pikachu's been our only real damage dealer this entire fight. <laughs> well. Now he's gonna, um, he didn't really hear that they were mad that they were using the, uh, the glasses to fight, and he's, well, he, he thought he looked really cool throwing the glasses <laughs> at him, so he's going to join in. Is that Bron Melee again? It's still Bron Melee. <laughs> minus two. Oh, minus two. Oh my, oh my god! god. <laughs> I'm tossing. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna say for four successes, you you jump up on a table that still has glasses, you pick them up and you just pour them all out, and start filling them with beam, <laughs> and uh, you basically throw these glasses, which are sort of like at, by the time they reach him, are sort of becoming like fire bombs. <laughs> <laughs> And he just sort of—he just sort of like staggers back as sort of the uh, the numerous as the numerous sort of uh, balls of fire just sort of like collide with him. <laughs> Finally, <Hell yeah. sighs> liquor instead of beer. <sighs> oh man! All this throwing looks a lot of fun, fellas. Mind if I join in? Yes. Uh, you can definitely throw this for us. As he uh, as he says this, he starts to sort of like as he says this, just like a fucking like just this like very very large like fireball just sort of like appears in his hand, and he just kind of lobs it into the center of where you guys are fighting. Uh, Can everybody flip one card for me? Oh no! Oh, oh no! Shit. This is oh <laughs> no! Well, um, everybody here is taking five damage. <gasps> All right. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> is is it dodgeable? It is dodgeable. We got two dead. <laughs> Brown, heal me. It's my turn. Oh wait, no. How do I heal you on your turn? That's right, I was about to say. I think oh. you're dead, dude. I think you died. 
Oh yeah, if you're on zero, then uh, flip a card for me for a uh, for a death saving throw. Fuck me. Okay, I'm you're. King. Oh, a king. So yeah, uh, put your health. If uh, for a king, put your health to one, Zell. Nice. Damn it. Fuck. I had. Man. <laughs> Fucking. Arts. Boss is just gonna like he's just sort of like gonna cross his arms very smugly and just be like not exactly beard glasses. Sorry fellas. As it uh goes to Thorbin's turn with uh with with a with uh with card sharp at a commission, Thorbin is up next. Yeah, hey, uh, we we sure we can take this? I'm gonna shoot card sharp, okay? <laughs> With a defibrillator arrow. <laughs> that we gotta start his heart back item? up! Can that count as a flavored <clears throat> healing item, please? Yes, I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say for. It's, you're gonna flip uh, ranged engineering, yes. but it is going to be. But it is going to count as a heal. Well, that's actually exactly what I wanted. Yeah. I, no, I, I I realize. I know that's a great flip for you. It is a big uh, flip, though, uh, to flip with no <laughs> anti. -joker. I, got, I think I got too yeah. many jokers already. Yeah, I think you did. Yeah. So, uh, Not bad. Successes. Three. All right. Three. Oh, three. Oh. Uh, card sharp. You are def You. <laughs> Sort of like a jolt of electricity flows through you. And you are going to be uh, revived with three health. Can I go after Thorbin? Man, then? I'm surprised that worked. You know, it, bur it like killed all the rats I used it on before. <laughs> <laughs> Burned them to a crisp. Oh, that's so awesome. Oh, don't worry. I'm a thief, not a rat. I'm gonna say uh, the way we normally do it, the uh, the death saving throw is your turn. Ah, oh, so that goes for you as well, Lawrence. Though. Fair enough. So oh, it's gonna well. go right to. Oh, actually, one thing though, uh, your the the mages are still <laughs> the mages are still on your side. <laughs> so that though they for oh, wait, no, that's the turns that's the... like it's only been like three since he did it, right? Yeah, I, I'm I'm gonna spoil the fight a little bit and say that these mages are absolutely not going to ever not be on your side for this for this fight. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Though. It's like it's eight turns. Oh, so uh, another many. Joker? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Five with a Five Joker. Successes. Five successes. Why? <laughs> these Joker. mages are some ass, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking dying. Uh, <laughs> what the okay. fuck do you do with five successes and a joker? Um, okay, <laughs> I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say the turn that, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna say that most of the mages do, most of the mages do throw just, like, spells at them that are pretty effective. Some of them kind of get a little caught up in the moment and start throwing fire spells. <laughs> Which just sort of like enhance the fire around him. <laughs> so he's gonna on his Paul. next turn, he's gonna flip a couple more cards. Are you Paul. kidding me? He already flips a ton of cards. Paul, Paul, quit That's it! You're so making him stronger. What? Paul, stop shooting fire at him. <laughs> <laughs> I this, I, I mean, he was doing it. Looked really cool. <laughs> Paul, you're <laughs> fucking it all up. You do this every time. <laughs> I, I, I wanted to do a fireball! That fireball is good! It's like the best spell! Dude, last week that dog was attacking us, you made it bigger! <laughs> yeah. I mean, who doesn't like big dogs? <laughs> also, I really just like how you're just like, just talking like you know this one dude and he's just ad-libbing it perfectly. <laughs> I don't know, I... <laughs> Alright, it is gonna be Pikachu's turn now. Uh, I, I'm gonna keep my distance and uh, give him a, a shock. Alright, uh. Wrong, okay. Of 
Yeah, uh, yeah, Brawn Force. Three. All right. Uh, a three is gonna like, it's gonna it's gonna get past him. Oh, you know what? I forgot to. In Shit. Um, I'm gonna take one success off of that because I forgot to make you flip interference. Oh. Oh. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say the interference hit one non-success, but it did hit one success. If that's if you think that's okay. Yeah. Sure. So, uh, you're gonna... So you sort of blast... You blast him with electricity. And he just kind of, like... He just sort of, like, takes it and just kind of, like... Sort, sort of, like, slumps over a little bit and then just sort of, like, writes himself. And, uh, he's just gonna... He's now gonna kind of, like... He, afterwards, he just sort of, like, straightens his back up, and he just kind of, like, he just kind of, like, uh, straightens and just sort of is, like, all right. He, he looks he looks right at you, Card Sharp, and he goes, all right, bud, I think it's about time we finish this. Really? I have, like, three health. <laughs> He's gotten so many successes so far, you know. There's no, Please there's no tell way me he jokes or something. Please. He's gonna very slowly walk up to you, Card Sharp, and sort of like he he sort of like he and he's just sort of like very sort of slowly, very uh, theatrically, sort of char sort of a uh, sort of gonna charge up like almost like he's like readying a punch like very dramatically. Is he going? <laughs> and he's gonna he's gonna like he sends it forward and you kind of like close your eyes and brace for impact but suddenly the heat kind of disperses around you and you see that he's just sort of standing there with his fist out like waiting for a fist bump you guys are fucking badass <laughs> Cartridge just oh. goes, what? Woo! woo! I haven't had no, a woo. No, he goes, what? He does a woo. He goes, what? I woo. Oh, I haven't yeah, we had woo. a fight. We woo. I haven't we had woo. a fight this. I haven't had a fight this good in forever. You guys can roll with us anytime. Hell yeah. That's what we've been telling you. Did he joke her? What no. happened? <laughs> this uh, this this fight was uh, this fight was until this many like full rounds passed, or one, or like either the whole party or him went down. This was never meant to be a fight to the death. I start tucking the arrow with a nuclear warhead on it back into my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I had a fun, I had a fun idea for my next turn, but Dagonet is going to get itself upright, but then turn into purple smoke and retract into uh, Card Sharp's uh, half-mask. Yeah, I was ready to murder that guy, dude, but then he threw out a fist bump. Come on. <laughs> so you know he's Card cool. Sharp just kind of, like, not not half-heartedly, but not totally enthusiastic, just sort of like, I guess. <laughs> very, very, very winded. <laughs> <laughs> After, uh, all that happened. <laughs> you, you can see now that the uh, the fire kind of dissipated on him, that it's just sort of that it's sort of like. It, it seems that he's not fully immune to that fire that he puts on himself, because his body does look kind of like scarred up. Although pretty pretty soon, uh, Aurelia, the the dark elf woman, just sort of comes up and sort of starts doing like a spirit magic heal on him. Seriously, Raz. I mean, I know you. I, I, you have to fight everyone who comes down here. At least one. At least once. 
<laughs> Wait, so do any of the cultists still think he, or cultists uh art <sighs> The Arcana cultists. Uh, it's Arcana uh, class. Arcana yeah. class, yeah there we go. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say that show of I'm gonna say that show of uh, manly conflict resolution was enough to dispel the lie. Okay, okay. Okay. <laughs> Manly conflict resolution. <sighs> what, what, what a, That's the what name of this episode. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right. Well, now that the formalities are out of the way, I start flexing. He he returns the flex while no, he's it's... speaking. <laughs> Uh, I think uh, it's about time for the fun stuff. Let's get you guys a little bit more situated with the crew. Next time on RPG. <laughs> nice. <laughs> this was a fucking roller coaster. That it was. <laughs> I was kind of sad the com my combat was suck this game though. You didn't die for yeah. long. You did die for long. <laughs> <Not> <laughs> <laughs> Only one turn there. Come on. <laughs> I brought you back from the death. I am. Uh, like, I am like kind of. Died. I am kind of glad that the conflict didn't go very well for you guys, because this boss, this guy is very overtuned combat-wise. So it would have yeah, been. It would have been really weird for me if you guys just rolled perfectly and smoked his ass. <laughs> <laughs> I it was gonna be uh, interesting. It was a good fight. Yeah, it was a good yeah. fight. Especially for like only one, only fighting one. That's enemy. cool. <laughs> <laughs> Not cool, dude. Not cool. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. I really, I really like the, uh, I really like the Arcana class as a concept. I think they they were really fun to write. I'm just saying, Card uh, Sharp is still not convinced to actually that. join them. Just oh, okay. yeah, that's they're, fair. They're, that's re fair. they're really fun. Yeah, I, I, uh, <laughs> we'll see, we'll see, because since since uh, a fourth of the party really doesn't like them, we'll see how much I get to. Well, actually no, out of character, I like them, but in character, Card well, doesn't well, want to be associated yeah, yeah. with them. What's exactly? Well, that's exactly what I mean. I mean, yeah. in character is what decides how much you uh, you associate with them. Yeah. But it is, uh, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm glad that your uh, initial misadventures with them were hopefully pretty entertaining. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah they were. <laughs> I've never really seen the king before. <laughs> that was a very good. That was a really sweet hail mary. I, I'm, I'm glad that uh, Nate helped me with that. One. Sorry, dude. <laughs> no, I, I to need run. it. That was fun. That was fun. Well, that said, though, uh, this sounds that sounds like a good uh, intro to hero points. I think uh, let's start with uh, let's start with you, Zell. Uh, well, yeah. I, oh, wait, do we all get I'll a hero point? Oh yeah, you guys yeah. are definitely getting a. I'm uh, just. A, you guys are definitely all getting an Arcana class approved. Role playing hero point <laughs> for uh, for for bearing with me on this session while I tried to tell a really cool story while sort of out of it. Yeah. Uh, out I'm of gonna it, give one to Nate for one. Yeah, yeah, I've, I've had a I've had a weird day. I've been very kind of out of sorts. Couldn't even tell with this session, honestly. Yeah, for real. Yeah, yeah. you did pretty good, man. Absolutely. Sorry for interrupting. I know. So, what did you say, Zell? I didn't even hear you. Uh, one, one to Nate for um, helping me out with that, as well as just exploding a gator. <laughs> for 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 the first time in RPG history, shooting the ceiling worked. Oh my it, god! Hell you're right. yeah. <laughs> it has been attempted, but to date, it worked. <laughs> and um, I mean, Pikachu just had pretty consistent rolls all around. I, th I think, I, th I think you uh, you definitely 
pulled your weight in that fight. Despite our best efforts. Someone needed to. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I think, I, Pikachu, I think you were the only one who rolled, like, more than a two to damage, to damage uh, the boss at any point. Oh, that reminds me, we had a cool idea, but the match ended before. Yeah, me uh, too. I had a cool I, idea, I was, if I'm, I'm just gonna say it. I was gonna have, like, I, I was gonna have uh, Card Sharp have, because Dagonet would have been able to go the next round. I was gonna have Card Sharp, I mean, uh, Dagonet literally attack uh, the leader from behind as he was busy uh, uh, cool. distracted with the uh, Card Sharp. That would have been cool. Ooh, that would have been very cool. I had I'll an save idea. That. That... I'll save that for later. For I'll save that idea for something <laughs> I just, else. I just really loved. I just really loved the the. Uh, I I I don't know. I don't know how well it actually translated, but I really loved the idea of like flipping his like super buffed role to end the fight rather than to just like destroy card sharp dude that no that was terrifying yeah that was like <laughs> yeah. kind of the whole thing i was like oh <laughs> shit we might lose this fight in character card sharp wasn't even wasn't flinching but i was pretty scared <laughs> but in character he wasn't all right. Uh, let's uh, let's pass it over to Zegend. I know it's really late for him, so let's not drag this out too much. Um, first of mine goes to Thorbin for the defibrillator arrow. This fucking <laughs> shouldn't played... exist in fantasy, but <laughs> it's it's so funny though. <laughs> Two yesterday. I know, I do. I I didn't want to say it, but I know, I know, I I, I knew immediately. Like the reason you thought of that was because of Left 4 Dead 2 last night. Also, yeah, that's fun for the fucking. It's like... I want to zell for fuck that fucking lie that got all the mages like to fucking attack their boss. <laughs> very funny. Very cool. I've never seen the game. Which super super on brand? They actually weren't that helpful. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they were shit. The best part. They jokered on two out of three of their roles. <laughs> that was the best. No one. They didn't. They got one. Yeah, yeah they got one success. <laughs> I think, like ten, I I think they flipped a total of like. In terms of successes that actually went towards damage to the boss after Jokers, I think they flipped a total of like four successes <laughs> on on three ten card flips. Yeah. <laughs> All right. What's what's your That's next great. thing, Zell? So I mean, Zedge. Um, I think yeah, he gave it. Z he went uh, Zell and Brown. Oh, okay. Yeah. I guess no one likes me then. Oh. Love you. <laughs> I love three. you. I like you, cynical. That's why you're going next. Um, one to Brown for, uh, being a healer, which helped. Yeah, I can't believe you made me the fucking heal slut. It pissed me off. <laughs> what? It made me clutch. That's not it. What? We need a healer on the team. I'm squishy. <laughs> you got yourself killed really quickly. Did you not? It was great. Make fun of me, please. Sorry, dude. I was just joking. Um, and, uh, one to, uh, one to, uh, Zegend for pretty good combat flips compared to the rest of us. He was, he was on point. Totally out of control, but thanks. <laughs> the cards were super with him tonight, other than, uh, jokering on his first flip of the night. Also, we need to give a collective hero point to the guy who made the Pizza Tower OSC. We had that on repeat for like an hour and a half. <laughs> it <true>. worked. <laughs> it worked well of, for I... both the environment and the fight. Yeah, no, I was I was thinking like, all right, what do I switch it out for the fight now? And I'm like, I don't need to. Yeah, it works. <laughs> it's a fucking manga. Like this totally works for this fight. <laughs> Why would I switch it? I don't need to. Oh fuck. Who's next? Anti Joker. I think uh, I'm a little. That one would left. be Brown. Is next. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, my hero points. Cynical. Okay. Because uh, well, obviously because he initiated 
the initiation of initiative. That is or true. With, with combat. Blood by combat. And then my second hero point, blood by combat. That's not what I meant to say, but... Blood by combat. It. Yeah, I'll keep that. Uh, and my second hero point, you know, Sejin. Zelos. Okay, you guys... I had a lot of fun playing with you guys today. I'm not, I'm not trying to say you weren't my heroes. All I'm saying is that it worked out well for us last time. I still haven't learned my lesson, so Dingle gets the hero point. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> I, Cause it, cause that was epic. That was an epic battle. I will <laughs> take it. I will take it if you so desire. You this know is the, what I wish. This is what I wish. You know, you know the risk you're taking. I might not use it for you next time. I mean, for me, against me, you know, whatever, whatever you see fit, you know, that's a that's a powerful thing. A hero point, it sure is. A force, a force of joy in the world. I will, I will take it. Well, another thing is, like, to be a little <laughs> meta with it is, I think, okay, so like a hero point, you're using on a flip, right? Mm -hmm. And something a flip you've already planned out. You know what I mean? It's like. You're not going to use a hero point on it. It's like, I already know kind of what's going to happen if I do this, if I don't do this. But then it's like, when when we're doing that thing where we're just coming up with shit, and you have to come up with shit because we just came up with shit. I mean, then it's like, now Dingle wants to do something in this <laughs> game that we're playing, you know? Not just like, Dingle made this, you know? It's kind of like... Fair. It's That's fair. It's a, it helps you surge your own creativity in your own creation creatively yeah so who's gonna be the i also only got i only got two hero points man so did zell oh so did zedjin no zedjin got three. Oh. Well, did well, how I, did got, I got like i got like six so I, uh, I have I have it up right now. It's uh brown it's Zedrin three, Cynical Zell two, Brown four, and me one. I did use two this round. This game. Oh wait, it resets every time, right? Fuck. Yeah, they go they go to yeah, they go to zero oh, and then we assign them here. Also guys, I hope I'm not like I hope you I hope my character's fun to interact with. I'm sorry if he's seeming like a stick in the mud right now, but it's just with the certain situation. Oh yeah. No, it's, it's fine. It's, it's nice to have some uh, conflict, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, it definitely it's, does. It's, one. it's a it's a very interesting. It, it I think it's a fun party dynamic to contrast with, like, because like the space party is just all like they're just all very buddy buddy. So it's nice to have more of like a sort of like ambivalent towards each other for now group, because those types of groups have a very usually generally have very satisfying payoffs. I still feel a little sad that uh, Fat Pikachu in the span of like two days, he. <laughs> He, uh, both of his friends said, I'll be yeah, back later. Yeah, I lost later. both they my buddies. <laughs> Amadeus is gonna be back, I swear. Well, so how much. did it, how did it start, you know, like, how, how did the, when he first uh, met you guys? I came here through an it's ultra a... wormhole. <laughs> 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 yeah. If, don't if don't worry about it. If I remember correctly, we had a pretty, we had a pretty bare bones like Intro. first well, meeting. I'm just saying, like, guys like... just all, you guys were just all on like a carriage. Just going imagine to the, same the Skyrim town, intro because you got yeah. hired, yeah, yeah, you got hired for the same job. The yeah, yeah you guys just all got hired for the same job, and you were sort of shooting the shit. I was just thinking, like, um, you know, he kind of already seems like he just goes with the flow in that regard. He, he's not like whining about his, you know, missing his family. Oh, and definitely, stuff. yeah. He could choose just in a constant state of vibing. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. That, I mean, that's my he's, aim, so I'm glad it's, it's he's just, he, he's here he's here for a good time and he doesn't <laughs> care how he gets it. Should we I get mean, the think, hero point so Zoe can go to sleep? Think think yeah, about I it though. Should. Think about it though. Think about it though. You know, maybe Mirica and uh and Amadeus, you know, they left, but you know, Pikachu got in the cart, he he still had a bunch of buddies around him, and then Radimus drove off, you know, so it's Seems like business as usual to him, I think. Well, again, I don't think either of the other characters are going to be gone for good unless Jibu suddenly yeah. wants to play a new character, too. Yeah, they're not, like, dead. Yeah. And Amadeus, just... is, Amadeus said he'd be back at some point. They're just uh, waiting for their triumphant return. 
which well, I'm I mean, already started planning. So. I mean, it may seem odd for Pikachu, but everybody else is just kind of doesn't seem to be bothered by it at all. So just a normal day, you know, he's just vibing, dude. <laughs> All right, let's like, get. Oh, yeah. this who, are we, who are we? Uh, Who's who anti joker Because I need to anti-joker. go to sleep too. Um, let's make it Zedgen. Yeah, let's make it Zedgen. Yeah, let's Zedgen. All right. Oh, but kind of going Zedgen. back to something that you guys brought up. I bought Left 4 Dead 2 just today because it was on sale oh for two dollars. Oh my god! Oh yeah, nice. yeah. Forgot, I, have, I forgot. I have not owned the game. it, but. <laughs> I, want I don't to play know. If you guys ever wanted to bro game it when the new update comes out, I'll give it a shot. It's out. Never played it's out. It. Oh, the yeah, new, we were playing. Last night. Yeah, me, me, Brown, Phoenix, and Oro were playing the new campaign mm-hmm. last night. Well, I have not played any Left 4 Dead, so oh, it's 13 gigs. That'll be a bit to download, so I can't download it on a whim. I'm going to sleep. No. So. All right, dude. Yeah, that's All fine. Right. Peace out, boys. See ya. Well, this was a good though. Yeah. Brown, for the love of God, please remember next weekend. <laughs> I'm really sorry about that, and I will remember because I set an alarm for it. Is it so. again? Are you setting it? Can you set a repeat? I don't have an iPhone. Can you set if a I have, alarm? You can, and if I yeah. have my phone on me at 5:30 next week on Sunday, please I have it on you it if you can. <laughs> well, that's I'm never that's without a, my phone. I don't. That's. Get... I don't want to be carrying it all over the place. I do. I hate being yeah. not connected to people. It distracts me, dude. I, I don't... I mean, I'm, like, connected to this moment, you know what I'm saying? And if I take... <laughs> the phone, like, kind of brings me out of it, you know what I'm saying? It's like I'm trying to enjoy the sky, and then some yeah. asshole keeps calling me on my phone, like, get on RPG! It's like I'm trying to look at the sky! <laughs> hey, I'm looking at the sky over here! Uh, can you... Well, hopefully you do have it on you next Sunday. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm really sorry that I showed up an hour late. I totally, totally slipped my mind. I didn't even know it was Sunday. That's mostly why. I messaged you at, like, 2. <laughs> oh, right, yeah. You t- 2 in the morning? No, 2 in the afternoon.